Hello and welcome to this new Hostify video. My name's Alex and today we're going to be looking at remapping WAN ports on the UXG Pro. So the UXG Pro has been out for a little while now and it's got four interfaces. So it's got two RJ45 ports and two SFP Plus ports. So by default out of the box, port 1 is 1.1 one, one, and then port 3 is 1.2 and then you've got port 2 and port 4 um, for the LAN ports. So with Unify, with a, with a recent Unify update that came out a few months ago, um, Ubiquiti added the ability to remap those ports, and that, that applies to the uh, UDM and UDM Pro and uh, UDM SE as well. Um, this was a feature on the USG products that um, Ubiquiti used to have. Uh, you could remap, well, you could remap one port. So on the USG 3, um, you could remap the last port as either WAN 2 or LAN 2. Um, older USGs had a VoIP port, but that, that's getting done under the, the rabbit hole. Um, so the the usability of this would be, um, let's imagine you've got uh, ISPs delivering your internet connection and it's fiber only, uh, and they, they hand over SFP port. So, well, by default, you, you'd have to use an adapter to convert that from SFP to, to RJ45 if you wanted that ISP to be the default one. Um, so on the UXG, you can, you can remap uh, one of the SFP plus ports to become WAN1. Um, so how it works is the in the interfaces are assigned roles. Um, so you assign one one role to a port, and you assign the one two role to a port. Um, so you you can do that. Uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit weird how it's done. Um, it's not it is straightforward, but it just you just have to deassign ports and do it that way. So so what you do is log into Unify and then go to settings, and then down to internet. And you can see you got two. I've got two WAN connections on this on this UXG. But let's imagine I wanted to remap port three to become my primary internet port, basically. Um, so what you do is go down to the these two drop down boxes, and you can say that you can specify an interface for WAN one or WAN two. Um, but how it works is that at the moment port one and port three are unable to be changed. So you just need to deassign. So if I wanted to move port 3 to, to port 1, well, if I want to move port 3 to become WAN 1, I would have to first... I would have to first deassign port 3 from WAN 2. So I'm going to use a spare port I've got, which is port 2. So you move WAN 2 to become port 2 temporarily, and that frees up port, th that frees up port 3. And you can change WAN 1 to become port 3. That's that's pretty much, pretty much it. Uh, and then you can... Port one is still out there in the ether, and you could change. Um, we could change one two to become port one, for example. So that's how you do it. So you have to just bear in mind that once these two, once one of these ports, or once the ports are in this drop-down box are assigned, you just need to deassign it first to move it again. So again, if I want to move port one to one one again, I'm going to have to change this to either port four or port two, and then I can then change this to be become port one again. Then again, I can do port three. Uh, so that's a quick look at how to reassign or remap the ports on the USG, UXG to different WAN assignments. Uh, there is a there is a written version of this, which we'll link down below in the description. Um, but yeah, if you want to get more information about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. If you want to contact our team, you can do so at support at hostify.com, and you can follow us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Alex, and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>